Okay, so back again for the last layer of the unit circle. Um, we're going to use the purple, purple um, pieces here that was chopping our circle up into 12 sections. And as you lay this on top of your unit circle um, model that you've been making, we have now all of the coordinates for all the angles, all the special angles, except pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. So once we find the pi over 6 uh, coordinate, we're going to be able to reflect that into the others and have this whole thing um, wrapped up. We can start talking about the trig functions. So let's go ahead and cut out the pi over 6 angle so we can get a reference triangle here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut four of them while I'm at it, because we're going to need them anyway. There we go. Okay, and um, this was uh, our pi over 6 angle. So if I lay it in here, there we go. Fits right in there like that. So we need to draw a perpendicular, right, straight down from this terminal point. Whoops. This terminal point straight down to make a 90 degree angle. So it's going to get cut right along that line. And since I need four of them, I'm just going to go cut them all at once. So we will line up these outer edges here. And, oh, sounds like my grandson is getting ready for bed and not happy about it. All right, so we'll go ahead and cut that end off of there. And there's four reference triangles. Now, these, um, if, I, if I turn this over here and, and put it in, do you see how this is the same triangle as our, um, our orange ones? And that's because this uh, pi over, let's see, how did I have it this way? This angle here that is pi over 6 is um, also a 30, 60, 90 triangle. For the orange one, we just had the 60, this is actually over a little bit too far, but um, for this orange one, we had the 60 degree angle facing um, or touching the origin. Here with the purple, we're having the 30 degree angle um, instead because 30 degrees is the same as pi over 6. So this is our shorter side, um, which is great news because now we don't have to use that um, 30, 60, 90 rule again. We're going to have the same outcome as we did for the orange, only the uh, short side now is the y value, the 1 half, instead of the x value. So this coordinate is um, going to have a 1 half for the y value, because up and down is our shorter side, the longer side across from the 60 degree angle, that's root 3 over 2. And x and y are both positive in the first quadrant. So if I tape this angle here into place, I'll be right there, baby Xander. We'll go to read a story in a second. So if I tape this one into place, this is 1 pi over 6, and that's our our root 3 over 2 comma 1 half angle. I'm coming, baby Xander. I'll be right there. Um, that's our pi over 6. Then if we take this and we, ref whoops, we reflect it into the second quadrant, so we're coming over this way now, right? and we'll go ahead and tape that one into place. Um, remember that was... 5 pi over 6, because half of the circle is 6 pi over 6, which is pi. So 1 um, pi over 6 back from that is 5 pi over 6. That's going to have the exact same um, x and y values, so root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Only now in quadrant 2, the x's are negative. So we have a negative root 3 over 2. The y is positive in quadrant 2. Okay, then we're going to reflect that triangle down into the third quadrant like so and we'll put a piece of tape on that one there we go oh, that one looks like it's bouncing up put some more tape on there that was five pi over six okay so this was five pi over six six pi over six that makes this uh seven pi 
over 6, and it's going to have the same ordered pair, right, as our reference uh, from the first quadrant, so root 3 over 2 comma 1 half, only in quadrant 3 now, oh, which is off the screen, um, in quadrant 3 we have an x um, and y that are negative, so we need a negative on each of those, so negative root 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. And last but not least, now to finish off our circle, we still need, uh, remember, 11 pi over 6, so we're going to take that first quadrant pi over 6 angle, reflect it into the fourth quadrant, and tape that into place. And that is the last one, 11 pi over 6. Okay, and then um, this would be 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. So at 11 pi over 6, our last coordinate to fill in, um, that's going to be root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. And in quadrant 4, the x is positive, the y is negative. So we put a negative on that 1 half. And that is how you derive all of your uh, coordinates for the special angles on the unit circle. So the last thing um, I want to show you before I go read to my grandson um, and I show you the trig, uh, trig functions on this circle, um, we'll go ahead and fill them in on this template that we've been keeping track of as we go. So at pi over 6, this is going to be root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. And if I reflect that then into quadrant 2, that gets me to 5 pi over 6. So that coordinate is negative root 3 over 2 comma positive 1 half. I reflect into the third quadrant, that's 7 pi over 6. That's going to be negative root 3 over 2 negative 1 half. Reflect into quadrant 4 at 11 pi over 6. That's uh, positive root 3 over 2 negative one half. Okay, the uh, pi over threes, it looks like I forgot to do those in the last video at the end. So this pi over three uh, is the reverse of the pi over six. So it's going to be a one half root three over two. We reflect that into quadrant two and have negative one half positive root three over two. Reflect that into quadrant 3 down here at 4 pi over 3, that coordinate is going to be negative 1 half negative root 3 over 2. And then uh, reflect that into quadrant 4. At 5 pi over 3, we have a positive 1 half again, but a negative root 3 over 2. And that's it. That's our whole unit circle template filled in. Okay, do not lose this because you are going to need it uh, when we go to do the trig functions of these special angles on the unit circle in the next video.